Hi everybody, today you're gonna to follow along with me and we're gonna do some drawing. We're gonna make some toucans. I have a toucan right back here. So I'm gonna talk with you today about lines, how they can make shapes, and how about composition, how we can fill up the whole entire piece of paper. And also, we are gonna talk about color today. And I just use basic crayons on my project and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make some really looks with those crayons. So you're just going to need paper, some pencils, uh, some crayons, and a marker if you like the look of having that outlined. I like outlining with the black marker. It kind of makes it pop. So let's be creative together, follow along with me, and let's draw. All right, so when we start to draw this toucan, I'm doing an invisible oval shape right here. So our toucan is more in the center of your paper, but there's some room around it. We're going to make the beak first, and that's what really makes that toucan look like a toucan. So we're going to think about a triangle shape that has a curve to it that curves down for the beak. So I'm just going to go for it, start to make my line, and drop it down to begin the beak. And bring it back up and over and connect and close up that shape. I could draw another line just to separate the top and bottom of that beak. And after that, I'm going to make a big line now. You can kind of do an imaginary one first, but kind of go around and stop. So it's going to be this nice big curve of a line to start to make the body of our toucan. I'm bringing it in but not quite all the way yet. All right, so I've got that curved shape for that long body down. Now I'm gonna make some wings on the toucan. They have little short wings. So when I make it, I'm gonna think about a heart shape and it's gonna come from this little part of the beak. It's kind of an upside down heart, so you can watch me or if you get stuck when you're drawing, just pause the video. So I'm going to take a line heading down and curve it inwards, starting to make a heart shape. And then I'm going to bring it back out and bring it around and close it up. So it's kind of this skinny upside down heart shape going on for our little wingdings there. Now, after that, I'm going to draw in a circle shape to begin to make the eye for my toucan and it's going to be an oversized circle this isn't quite the whole eyeball yet everyone this is going to give it some cool color so i'm making this big circle shape right by the beak and then check this out i'm going to make another circle inside of it and then i'm going to make another one Then I'm going to make one more. Whoa, for the pupil. <laughs> I'm going to add a little baby size circle because I like the look of that little, little reflection spot. That, I'm going to keep that white later as a reminder. Okay. From that eye, I could draw another curve line now just to give it some more variety when I color my toucan in later. I can go like this. So I've got lots of curve lines happening. The body's almost done. I need a couple more things. I need some feet down below. They're going to be gripping onto a branch in a little bit. So I want you to think about the letter U. So we're going to make a U shape. Then I'm going to make another one and another one. So I got these chunky little toes down here. There's another U, two, three, and close it up. Now I can perch my toucan on the branch. This is fun because the branch is just going to go right across the paper and right off the page too. Boing, it's right off. I'm going to include another line now. So look at this. It's as though those toes are right on clenching onto the branch. Below the branch now, I can draw the tail feather. So it's as though it's behind that branch. So I can think about those U shapes again. And I could have a U right here. And then I can make another one, not quite as long, just to give a little variety to make that tail feather. It almost kind of reminds me of that heart shape going right there, right guys? So then, 
now we can add some other details around our toucan. Remember I was talking about composition? We're gonna have some lines come once again from the sides of the paper. I'm gonna throw in some branches. Right now they're just some little sticks. I'm gonna to add to them. So check it out. On this one stem here, I can add another stem next to it close up the shape to begin it to make a branch and then you can just start to draw in some shapes to represent some leaves now you can make the leaves all different kinds of shapes i just like making a little curve line that goes out and back in i could add another one back here again maybe this goes behind the toucan part of that branch right off the page and I conclude include some more leaves you can have a variety of sizes this one's going right behind my toucan as though it keeps stretching out I could have just a little leaf popping up on the side could have them really teeny baby size branches you can change it up how you'd like now, if you don't want to do another branch in this area, but you want to fill up the space, I'm going to put in some leaves. I had some of those on my example one. I'm going to add a few more, add some little lines for some interest. I'm going to stack a couple there so it's as though this big one's in front of the other ones. Add another leaf shape over here. You can add it how you'd like. All right, I'm just gonna add a couple little designs. I like my little swirls, I'm putting those in. And if you wanna add something like a spider or a ladybug or a butterfly flying around, you could add that too. On my example one, I had a little ladybug over here, so I'm gonna include one right here, some little antennas, little legs. I'm gonna put a butterfly up here. So I could just start by making a head and stretch out a little body, add some antennas, and then I can just have fun. Maybe I want to think about that U shape again. Looks like that heart almost to make some wings. Okay, so now I've got my drawing. I filled in the space. If you got stuck at all, just pause the video. I'm going to outline mine with some black markers so when you see it again it's going to have that black and I'm, I'm going to talk to you about color all right so i outlined my toucan with a black sharpie marker permanent marker if you don't have one that's all right what i did was i pulled aside some crayons now to color it in i want to give you a couple tips on coloring in your toucan and then we will just get going on it so when you're coloring everyone think about this even if you don't have a big variety of crayons you could still get a few different colors out of one crayon just by pressing down kind of hard first and then go a little bit lighter so you actually show some value here the lightness and darkness of a color so you can make that really interesting just by pressing down hard with one color and a little lighter next up see the difference so when you're coloring think about that today also when I color in the background all this behind the leaves and behind the toucan I selected four different colors and I'm just gonna blend those colors kind of next to each other and by that I mean I'm just gonna start a section of color let's say I have this blue section I'm just gonna color in one direction up and down so it doesn't look too scribbly. It's still gonna be kind of neat looking. And then I can take another color and just layer it on top a little bit. You could use any colors you'd like. I'm just giving the suggestion, try three, maybe up to four different ones as you fill in the space later. It kind of gives it this nice bright look behind all your other pieces you drew, okay? And then lastly, when you color in your toucan, if you actually look up a toucan on the internet, they have a black body, 
which I'm going to keep this black because I'm really going to make all the other colors pop. The beak actually comes in a lot of different colors. You can also make that up too. This is the fun part of being an artist. You can be creative with it. So I'm going to go ahead and color and fast forward through this. You guys can see how I do it. And we'll go from there. So I hope you had fun drawing with me today. You can see just from my own two, two cans I did, they're a little bit different. That's totally fine. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and have fun being creative. I miss you.